Molten death, I can resist you, so I'm gonna buy you, so I can kill loads of people. Die! Da, 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 da. Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals 3. Um, made a few changes uh, with my character at the moment. Uh, uh, the null, null, un unidentified of null. That, it, that What the hell is going on? Deb. Uh, what? Oh, come on! Folks, I have just had to buy all my stuff back, pretty much. Game, I just want to say this one thing to you. You've lost it now. Look at this! My weapon is a bard each of moments. It's a two-handed weapon, plus eight to intellect, 30 to 75 damage. I do... Maximum 323. I do 228 average. Plus I got this dexterous bamboo hat, plus 6 to intellect. We've got these uh, Santana silk shoulder guards, plus 4 to intellect. We've got these borehide bands of regeneration, plus 10 to health regeneration. This enduring cloth shirt, plus 9 to vitality. These plate mail greaves, these fleet plate mail greaves, plus 5 to intellect. And this is the, these are the only things that have stuck. Really? Uh, the Myrmidon Boots of the Cheetah. Plus six. Also, the Scullery Silk Cloak. Plus six. Game, it's over. I also still have my Molten Death. So let's see how much damage I do, shall we? I now have 221 health, 259 armor. We're looking a lot better right now. A lot better. So, let us see how much damage Molten Death does. Oh! 456! <laughs> Victory for formerly Pete! Game, you don't stand a chance now. It's over! Don't you understand that? Like a relationship is really bad. It's over. Oh no, not 75 damage. Oh no. By the way, uh, the new... Um, so yeah, now I've got level 5. And Molten Death. Uh, and also I've got this. Magic Orb. Pretty much what it does, it gives you a little bit of extra health. Which is really good, obviously. I now do 200 odd damage with a charge. With my ability. Oh no, please no. Urgh, 323 with my weapon. I'm now up to pretty much Yeti Project. Weaponry power. Which is good. There we go. We are back. Back on form. Edric the Conqueror. You are really bad. Sorry, Edric, but you are really terrible. Like, really terrible. In fact, now you're dead in one hit. 323 max damage. You are screwed. Victory for formerly Pete. Formerly Pete, formerly Pete. Yeah, so the game decided to screw me over. Um, thinking that I was just going to go away. Uh, but now I do more damage than I could ever have imagined with both magic and melee Game you've lost My quick attack does 132 Game you've lost you stand no chance now. Oh, no, not 10 damage Here's 115 for you Maravane the nervous you were very nervous to take me on and lost Formerly Pete wins Go, formerly Pete. Am I not going up in level anymore again? Forget it, if that's the case. Frozen. 399 for you! That is a victory for formerly Pete! Loot Night House. Night Douse. Night Douse. How you doing, good sir? You doing okay? I'm glad. Now burn. At <laughs> the hands of Molten Death, I've missed you! I have missed you, Molten Death. I really have missed you. Right, next up we have... Kroshork O'Lock. Good to know. Good to know you're here. Thank you for turning up. To your own death. Frozen. 399 with level 5 now. This is, uh, this is going well, isn't it? Also, we're getting a lot of gold from bonuses. Don't know why that is. Never mind. Great! 
dastardly bogeyman mage. You will die in due course. I'll shiv you. No, don't, don't walk towards me, Geraint. You don't want to be doing that. Oh, no, not my magic. Let's try and shove him. I'll shove you. It does nothing. I don't know why. I, oh, no, because my original build had strength. This doesn't. If I had strength with this weapon, oh, God, the damage. I may be considering it. Yeah, my, my level's not going up, is it? Fine, I'm just going to kill these people normally then. Uh, Lendolin, Forksol, whatever. Vomit out your guts. I can't wait to take on my next boss. Because he, uh, he's uh, going to die. Do you know going to take on my next boss now? Yeah, why not? Physicals. Sage and Blood Mage. Yay, 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 yay. That is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage for physicals. There, that is a lot of damage for physicals. Wow. Okay. Uh, Thousand Cobras. Oh! Nice damage there. Well played. Run at him. You missed, physicals. I need to be wary. I'm going to cast a magic orb. Dang it. I should still have my magic orb left. Oh, damn it. Please don't hit me. You missed. Good. Yeah, charge and kill you. Physicals, you are dead. We have killed you. Yeah. Gotcha, physicals. I think I can probably just take on, like, every boss from now on. I have leveled up. Awesome. Now let us go into the School of Arcane and put some more into Essence. Because that will be definitely good. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Wow, okay. Uh, what's going on? It's frozen again, are you kidding me? It has just frozen yet again. God damn it, game! Alright guys, we've beaten physicals again. Awesome. No change in my alignment. Right, let's go for... Is that seriously? Yeah, a hundred... Oh, ten. Oh. oh, what the hell? Abjuration? Why the hell's that gone up? It's a bit annoying, to be honest. I don't want that to go up. Oh. Never mind. And we also have 13 guitar mastery randomly. Okay. God, what do I want? What do I want here? Elemental resistance? Parrying mastery? Shield mastery? Robust constitution? Uh. What have we got here? Two-handed weapon mastery. Okay. Uh, dual wielding. Some rank gifted fighters learn to use two weapons at the same time with devastating effect. I have to use a weapon in each hand. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. I think I'll go for that, please. Ooh, and critical mastery. I'm going to want to boost that up as well at some point. Anyway. With a cracking, with a cracking of lightning and energy, physicals is no more. Once again, automaton robots enter the arena and circle you, scanning and mapping you. Not ready yet is the only response you receive when you question them. Not ready? Not ready for what? Strange things are afoot here in the arena. From what you gather, your automatons select the arena champions and fund the prize money for battles. Again, you ask, to what end? Chapter eight complete. Now it's time for chapter nine, a kind of magic. Love that song. Anyway, we are uh, high above a tower. Sir Brian of Ma Oh, well done game, I get it. Sir Brian of May is one of the finest guitarists of his generation, wielding harmonics and melodies on the battlefield to devastating effect. Sir Brian is also one of the most respected astrom astromers of the realm. He recently discovered what he believes to be the home planet of the aut automatons, the automatons. The guitar wielding ninth arena champion, Sir Brian of May, is not to be underestimated. Close the gap and defeat him quickly, or you'll fall victim to a dazzling and spectacular guitar solo that may, in fact, prove to be the last you ever hear. We're, we're, I, I, I can't believe that they actually put Brian May in this game. <laughs> Brian May of Queen, they put him in this bloody game. I do not understand, but I am not unhappy about it. Sir Brian of May! Do you know what? We'll take you on next! Sir Brian of May. I still don't believe that. Oh, God. Okay, he has a lot of max damage. Okay. Not nice. Not nice. Not nice. Molten death. 
voice of the gods. Okay. Here's some health damage for you, Mr. Brian of May. You gonna walk towards me? I'm getting a lot of my health back. I'm happy about that. Right. Regain. I could kill you now. I'm going to kill you now. Eternal damnation, Sir Brian of May. Yeah. Victory has been for formerly Pete. Well, that was easy. We just beat Sir Brian of May. The melodies from Sir Brian's guitar have been silenced. The world is a lesser place. Because of it, still, your song consumes, continues to be written, and its chorus swells with every battle. Nine area champions have fallen at your hands, and you feel like you could take on anybody. To the triumphant strings of victory, you leave the battlefield. The claration call of trumpets bring you home once again, alive and ready to face another day. Let's go to chapter 10. Do you know what? I'm just going to take on most of these arena champions now. Why not? Return of the Beast Force. Chapter 10. Your next opponent needs little introduction. Former overlord of Antares' Coliseum, usurper of power and Beast Force commander during the Crusades, Arglax, is one of Brandon's greatest and most revered figures. Physically imposing, brilliantly calculating, and a master strategist. Arglax watched for years as Gladius fell during his time at the Old Coliseum. When his campaign to claim Brandor for the, for the Beast Force ended in defeat, his minions scattered and the palaces fell to ruin. Arglax now fights in the arena, bitter and vengeful. He has risen to the lofty heights of 10th Arena Champion, and it, and it will take everything in your arsenal to defeat him this day. We'll see about that. Arglax, you're next! Alright, Arglax, bring it on. Alright, you do have a lot of max damage. You have a lot of health as well. We need to be wary of that. And your awesome-ass weapon. What's that? Arglax is poor. Okay, good to know. Um, well, Molten Death kick us off. Why not? Oh. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, um... Uh, uh, heal. Ow! Brilliant. Poison damage. Okay. Gale, get away from me. Oh, he's so far away from me now. Now I'll cast Sluggish on your sorry ass. Shame you don't have any magic, eh? Isn't it, Arglax? Right, shame. More damage for you. Now I just need to wait until Molten Death comes back. Oh, I'll just get my Magicka back and my health. More magic and health, please. He's nowhere near me. He's nowhere near me. Poor you, Arglax. And you know what the worst thing is? I could gale you again. You know I'm going to gale you again. Ah, yeah. I am just pissing about with you, Arglax. This is so funny. You're nearly dead. Oh, there goes his health again. Okay. Rest. You're dying next turn, Arglax. I hope you realize this. Fighting Bolt! And Arglax is dead. Well, there you go, they're just falling like dominoes right now. What do we want? Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. We want dual wielding. I mean, I wonder if it works with two-handed weapons. That's what I'm thinking. You struck a great blow today by defeating the mighty Arglax. However, true heroes of Brandor are never truly killed. After the battle, Arglax's crippled body is taken away by loyalists. He will be nursed back to health, no doubt. His career as a gladiator is over, but his quest to conquer Cabrandor will continue. But that is a story for another day. You have defeated him, and in the process, avenged battle maiden Anna. Most importantly, your own legend is growing. Soon, the true powers in the arena will stand up and take notice of you. Chapter 10 complete. Awesome. Chapter 11, Diesel and Death. Once again, we are aloft our lovely castle. Emperor Antares cast a long shadow over Brandor during the Crusades. The story of his gathering of souls at the Colosseum is long and well documented. Thousands of men died and were resurrected to serve him in his horrific undead army. The Bone Slinger's tale is just one such story, and his tale is more unusual than most. The Bone Slinger was a powerful fighter in life, but his black soul yearned for more carnage. He gained the audience with Antares and willingly gave his life. A bargain which brought great power, but an eternal servitude in undeath. His soul black and his lust for death insatiable. Well, Bone Slinger, you are next, it looks like, my friend. I am well below your level. Let's see if you can beat me, Bone Slinger. He, yeah, he does have a lot of armor. A lot of armor. 
And he can shoot me. Oh, God. This, this could be a big mistake on my part. This could be a big mistake. Yep, I think this is a big mistake. Now let's uh, lob him away. You missed with shooting me. Good. Thousand Cobras. You've just cast Gale as well. You're sure about that, mate. Magic Orb. Aha. 45, apparently. Okay, we'll get some more magic and health back. We're going to walk forward, apparently. I'm going to hit you with Freezing Heart. He's restored his health randomly for no reason. That's fine. Heal. Oh, 90 again. Okay, this isn't good. Frightening Bolt. One more and it's over. Oh, and I've still got that. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah, I think this is uh, pretty much over. My lovely orb has saved my ass. Yeah, the orb has won it for me. Bone Slinger is gone! You had 50% resist, but still, your winner is formerly Pete. And now it's more into... Dual wielding. Yeah. We have won. Oh, I didn't even get to see that. God damn it. Quick. Right, chapter 12, Fire and Brimstone. Let's do this. Demons have long played a part in the shaping of Brandor's past. The tyrant he chaos nearly brought a cataclysmic end to the realm when he summoned the archfiend Zizabul to join his army. Zizabul was defeated, but in the hierarchy of demons, there is always a younger, stronger demon to take the place of the fallen, ambitious, cruel, and manipulative. Cole Ball is a creature of fire. Whatever the automatons have, sent, have seen in his blackened soul, they obviously like. Because Cobol has risen quickly to become a real champion 12. Be vigilant of his mastery of fire magic and the searing heat of his blade. Indeed. You need to be wary of that. But for the moment, we are looking really good right now. Like, really good. I wonder if I can. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna risk it here. Yeah, that's a one-handed weapon. Okay. Can we dual wield? No, I don't think we can. No, I don't think we can dual wield. Why can't we dual wield yet? It's a bit annoying if we can't dual wield, isn't it? I mean, I put all this into dual wield. Oh, I can dual wield. But I can't... Oh, great. So I... That, that's a waste of my time then, isn't it? You know... I thought I could dual wield, like, a two-handed weapon at some point. Or at least dual wield a two-handed weapon and a shield. But alas, no. We can't do that. That's bloody annoying, that is. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway, guys, we're going to go for a break here. We are, what, level 27. We're looking good right now. We are taking the arena champions down like dominoes. But in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals 3, uh, we will be taking on more arena champions. I'm kicking their ass. I think I'm going to do some domino effect now. I'll see you then.